Welcome to more World of Warplanes content from this channel and in this video I give you a brief overview of experimental equipment and whether it's worth having. If you're watching this you may have noticed that in the premium shop under the newly published May deals there are bundles for experimental equipment, a lightweight wing frame and gun sights. You may be wondering what is experimental equipment? Is it worth having? and I'm going to describe experimental equipment in this video. And what we have in front of us here is my BF110B, subject of my preceding video. And if you look here, you can see that I have a piece of equipment with a little red mark in the top left, and that is experimental gas-operated action for guns. And you can see the characteristics there. And Without describing it any further, I'll tell you straightforwardly that this is better than the standard uh, gas-operated uh, equipment, even when it's ultimate. How do you check what equipment you've had? Have rather? Well, you pop into your depot. I've got this pre-selected for advanced here, and as you can see, I have quite a little a bit of equipment lying around. I tend to buy it when it's cheap, um, if I think I'm going to need it. And if you scroll down, if I scroll down here, you'll see that I have some experimental pieces of equipment. And it doesn't stop there. Although I haven't seen them on offer for a little while, you may see that I've also got something called special project equipment, if I could only find it. And there we are. Special project equipment. And the purpose of this video is not to talk about special project equipment, but that's even better than experimental equipment. So, swapping focus, let's go and have a quick look at uh, the comparisons between period 2, that's tiers 5 to 7, in case you don't know, equipment. Here's the fully upgraded configuration for the advanced lightweight wing frame, and right beside it we have the same thing for the experimental version. And straight away we can see that there's a difference in the roll maneuverability, and I would point out here that this 8% here has already got a 3% bonus roll maneuverability included. However, of more interest are the maximum values here. The calibration range and the max value are shown here, 8 to 11, and then after all improvements, 13% uh, improvement in roll maneuverability. And on the standard equipment, your calibration range for t maneuverability in turns is 2.2 to 3.4%, and 4.2 after all improvements. Well, you may not be able to trust those figures and I'll explain why in a moment. Let's shift focus to the advanced experimental lightweight weight wing frame. And we can see it's 2% better. But if you look at the bonuses, there is no bonus for roll maneuverability. Whereas on the standard equipment, there is roll maneuverability there as a bonus and roll maneuverability there as a bonus. But what you do have is half a percent maneuverability in turns bonus and I don't think this is included in this 4.2 percent figure here so potentially if you get this piece of equipment fully upgraded and fully calibrated and then you roll it re-roll it until you can get the maneuverability in turns bonus characteristic you may get 4.7 here now at some point I'll probably do that but I don't want to spend the credits on video and it's a boring process anyway but I believe that this piece of equipment is actually better than it, sh it says here for maneuverability in turns. So straightforwardly on the on the prime characteristics, the lightweight um, experimental wing frame is flat out better than its standard counterpart. And it doesn't stop there. You're probably aware that with equipment you also get uh, negative effects and these are reduced for the experimental lightweight equipment. The loss of a aircraft HP and the loss of uh, ability to resist damage is lessened on the experimental uh, lightweight wing frame. I've mentioned here that the bonus characteristics are slightly different and in my opinion the selection you have here on the experimental lightweight wing frame offers you um, better choices than the ones here. I don't need to compare the um, period 3 compar uh, wing frames because it's exactly the same story. Let's move on to the uh, gun sights. And here, it's a much simpler story. Again, the experimental equipment is just flat out better. 
you get a 2% improvement on the current value and as you can see the maximum value is 23 for the experimental equipment for accuracy and 21% for the standard equipment. And on the bonus of characteristics you do have, if you are willing to spend tokens to um, lock down and re-roll your bonus characteristics, you can get an improvement of another 5% accuracy. You, sorry, you can select a 5% accuracy here and another 3% of forward um, firing accuracy here. And that's the same as you get on the experimental equipment. So it's a much simpler story. The advanced experimental equipment is just slightly better. And it's exactly the same story on the period three equipment and just bringing it into sight um, so that you can see the various figures. Okay, so this equipment is not going to make you a monster, but it is an advantage. And as far as I know, the only way to get this equipment is to pay cold hard cash for it. I did for the purposes of this video, so Wargaming wins. And if that isn't pay to win, it is pay to be a little bit better than your opponents. And I think that's wrong. And it's a shame, and I wish Wargaming didn't do this. Nevertheless, I hope this video has shown you that the experimental equipment is a little bit better. I would tend to suggest to you that you sh um, shouldn't spend your money on pieces of equipment um, that allow you to be a little bit better than your opponents. You may disagree, and if you do, then Wargaming will welcome your purchases. I hope you found this short video helpful, and if you did, I hope you come back to see more of my content. Until then, this is the Royal Flying Corps, signing off.